Hi you guys, I'm Michelle. I'm gonna tell you a few things about the sign. This is how you sign sign. There's two ways to sign it. This way and that way. Okay, the sign is a hot ball of gas, of glowing gases, okay? <laughs> and the sun is 9,940 degrees. Um, let's see, the sun is not the hottest star. Okay, let's see, the radius or miles is 4,032, 690 miles. Let's see, what else do I need? The sun is the closest star to the earth. And the sun travels at 220 kilometers per second. That's like 136.702 miles. And yes, the sun one day will consume the earth but in 7.5 billion years. <laughs> My planet is planet Mercury. It's the smallest planet closest to the sun. It's slightly larger than Earth. Mercury is about, it reaches about 800 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, so it's very, very hot. And when it, when it gets at nighttime, it gets anywhere from 173 degrees to about 280 degrees. And so it's very, very cold. Sometimes freeze, well, you could say freezing. Uh, Mercury orbits the sun uh, about 88 days. So our, it orbit, Earth orbits the sun about 365. They're 88 days. Um, they have no moons, no rings. Um, there's no atmosphere, so we would not be able to breathe. And it is a terrestrial planet. Hi everybody, I'm Richard from LAC. Today we're going to be talking about the second planet in our solar system, Venus. Venus is the second brightest uh, star or planet in our solar system. Um, it is referred to as the morning star or evening star because it is visible at night, even without a telescope. Um, that. And uh, Venus, one day on Venus is longer than one year due to the slow rotation on its axis. It takes 243 Earth days to complete a single rotation around the sun. And it is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. That is Venus. My name is Jennifer, I'm with LAC. Um, today we're going to be talking about the planet Earth. Um, Earth is where we live, it's the third planet from the sun, and it only has one moon. Earth is the only planet with liquid water in human life, animals, and species. Um, it has, it's about 93 billion miles from the sun, and it contains more than 70% of water that covers the, the Earth. That's why sometimes they call it the blue planet. Um, it also takes 365 days for it to rotate. That's how come they call it a year. And it takes about 24 hours for a day. And it tilts when it uh, rotates. That's why when it's facing the sun, it's summer. When it's away from the sun, they call it winter. Also, um, there's about 7 million people that live on the earth. And um, it has three layers. The first one is called a crust. Um, that's what keeps us cool. The second one is the mantle, that's where uh, the volcanoes come from. And uh, the center is where it's very hot. That's the iron part of it. And um, pretty much that's our earth. So we have to keep it clean and love where we live because this is where we live. And that's our earth. So now we're gonna talk about Mars, the fourth planet in our solar system. Mars is red due to the um, sand and dirt on the planet it has two polar ice caps top and well bottom so water so mars did have water on it many many years ago so another thing about mars is it has it used to have a thicker atmosphere because water used to flow throughout the planet but something cataclysmic must have happened on mars to where it froze all the water causing it to turn into the red planet that we know today it has some extreme highs and lows in terrain. This, and also the surface gravity of Mars is 37% of what you would find here on Earth. 
it also has two moons, and one of them is named Doom, of all, of all um, names. And another fun fact, the reason why we get the word Martians for aliens is because of Mars, because back in the day, back in the 50s, people thought aliens came from Mars, hence Martian. Hey everybody, it's Ashley. My planet is Jupiter. This is my little planet that I painted. And this is a picture. Now, don't judge it, okay? <laughs> but here we, here it is. <laughs> so, uh, Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun. Um, and it is actually one of the uh, five visible planets in the solar system because it's so bright. Um, it's actually brighter than any of the stars that we have. And only, I think, only Venus is brighter than Jupiter, even though it's not a star. Um, it's 2.5 times as massive as all the other planets combined, and it's the largest in all the solar system. So all of the planets uh, that you see in this video could fit inside of this one planet all together. Um, it takes 10 hours to rotate, um, so it, ta it actually takes the shortest amount of time than any other planet to rotate, but it takes about 12 years to orbit around the sun. Um, even though it is the uh, fastest, fastest spinning planet, excuse me y'all. Um, it has more than 60 moons on this planet and it has uh, four major moons that were discovered in 1610. Um, and the moons are actually some of the largest moons in the solar system as well. Um, the Jupiter is, is considered a gas giant. That is because it's 90% um, hydrogen and 10% helium, sort of like the sun. Um, and then it has other like little gases in it as well. So it's considered the gas giant. Um, one of the major things about Jupiter that everyone notices is the red dot. So I don't know if you can see the red dot that I put on here, um, the giant red spot that it has. It's also on the picture right here. That is actually a storm. It's called an anti-cyclonic storm. Um, and it's been around for at least 350, 350 years. Um, and the red spot takes takes six Earth days to spin. So whenever you uh, think about Jupiter, think of the big red spot and try to find it in the sky. It's one of the brightest planets, so we can actually see it. It's actually visible to the human eye. We just gotta find it. So thank you. That's all I know about Jupiter. Hi guys, this is Eugenia from LAC Earth. Today I'm gonna be talking about Saturn and Neptune. First, we're gonna start with Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun. It's the second largest solar system. It's also a gas giant, an average of, no, of nine times at Earth. Distance from the sun is 1.426.6661222 kilometers. Uh, it's a massive of 5.6268 and 10 um, 24 kilometers. The surface temperature is negative 139 Celsius. Um, it orbits the period between 10,756 days. And it has 82 moons. Um, my second planet is Neptune. It is the eighth planet of the from the sun, making it the distance of the solar system. Um, the distance from the sun is 2.793 billion miles. Aquarium of diameter is 49,528 49, kilometers. Polar diameter is 48,682 kilometers. Um, orbits the distance 4,498,396 4, kilometers. And orbits period 60,190 days. The surface temperature 
of Neptune is negative 201 points Celsius. So this is Saturn and Neptune. Uranus is known as the sideways planet because it rotates on its side like this. Most planets ro like, rotate like this. Uranus rotates sideways like that. It was discovered in 1781 by William Herschel. It is the first planet to ever be discovered with a telescope and it is an ice giant planet nearly four times larger than Earth. That is Uranus in a nutshell. You've all been wonderful. Have a great day.